Good morning, folks. I just woke up about 10 minutes ago, and you know what I was thinking when I woke up? My task is not yet finished. I am not done crusading for democracy. The UK cannot be allowed to get away with it. Calling themselves the champions of the people, the OG Democrats. Ha oh, No, 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 no. They cannot be allowed to stand. The allies must fall to my superior version of democracy. I will not rest until they bow before my democratic values. Oh, but promise, what's really the difference between you two? I don't know. They probably like have people go and vote on issues and representatives, and then the representatives ignore what the people want and do whatever they think is best anyway, and then they have the audacity to go around and say, yeah, we have the mandate of the people. The people are like, frick new, no you don't. At least I'm honest. I let my people make choices. As long as I get to curate what those choices are going to be. This is a managed democracy, okay? You can choose whatever you want, but on the multiple choice questions, I get to decide what the options are, okay? That's how this works. Now, we're gonna have to cheat to make this possible, all right? Democracies are not meant to be fighting each other like this. Fortunately, I have the power of console commands. And today, we are going to do something. I have to actually look up the console commands because I don't even remember what they all are. Okay, I think it's allow Diplo. Boom. Just like that, I should now be allowed to go to the United Kingdom and declare war or anything else. What I'm going to do, though, is in order to give them a sporting chance, I'm going to announce we're, we're, we're going to do ourselves a little justification, okay? Specifically for British Guiana. You are not allowed to have this. This is in South America, you filthy imperialists. I know, it feels wrong for me to say that. I'm so sorry. But we're going to kick you out. You're not allowed to stay here. And then I assume we can just turn this back off so that no one messes anything up. And we'll just go ahead and start that justification process. And in 85 days, your reckoning hath come. Do I actually think this is going to be a big challenge? No, but I do think it's going to be very annoying. I mean, let's take a look at the factions here, right? The U.S. will have to deal with Canada or something. I'll take care of South America. No big deal. The problem is the Allies are kind of all over the place. They're, they're still very large and in charge. They've got all of Western Europe on their side. It looks suspiciously kind of like actual NATO in a lot of ways. They got all of Africa. They got the British Raj. They even took down Iran. They've got all of Indonesia and Australasia. Yeah, this is going to be a bit of a problem. So, um, basically, this is just going to be United America plus Russia and Eastern Europe versus the world. Now, my plan here is break the backbone of the Europeans by taking down Germany, France, and the Netherlands, and so on. Maybe I can even push into the UK and in Norway. Then we worry about the rest. The problem with me spreading all my attention here is I'm going to run out of things like rubber and stuff because we haven't taken down the Dutch East Indies. That would be a very high-value secondary target. We'll have to come back to that one later on, though. Far more important to take the mainland of Europe, then we worry about the UK. But with the help of my big brother, the United States of North America, I think we're gonna be okay. So let's just go ahead and zoom forward here on speed five. I'm gonna train up a whole round more infantry because we can. I am completely out of things like support equipment and anti-air. That is one small problem. I am going to start building up a bunch of mechanized, so we can start swapping those out in our tank divisions. Other than that, I mean, I don't know. These are enough troops to do quite a lot. It's not necessarily world coverage level of troops, but it's pretty good. I am running lower on manpower, which is kind of my big thing that I'm concerned about. I also want to make sure we train up enough troops that the U.S. hopefully does not uh, take over leadership of the faction. Though at this point, honestly... The United States absolutely can just take over the faction. <laughs> they're they're going to get strong enough. I can never keep up with these guys. I am also building up a whole load of nuclear reactors. So there is a chance in the near-ish future I'll be able to do some nukage. Which feels very, very good indeed. Oh, it's election time. See, this is what I'm talking about with managed democracy, right? Like, y'all can vote. I just, you know, get to decide what the outcome ought to be. So we got four options here. An education pioneer, a democratic engineer, a trade unionist, bleh, and the same guy I've already got. Eh, I don't really need the uh, political power gain and stuff anymore. Let me just go ahead and swap over to the uh, democratic engineer. Daily democracy support? Heck yeah. He's also just a little bit of a warmonger. Just a little bit, okay? Don't think about it too much. It's probably fine. I just noticed the new music in the game. And y'all, he turned that up a little bit so people can hear it. 
We got pan flutes? We, we, we've got Peruvian pan flutes? <laughs> as far as national focuses, what am I even working on at this point? I don't even know. Um, I mean, we could work on some naval stuff, but... Tell you what, let's actually establish a new capital, alright? New capital, new era. This is gonna be great. And then otherwise, just sit back and enjoy some morning coffee. I haven't even showered. I literally woke up and this is the first thing I'm doing. That's why I got all this delicious, greasy bedhead. Blech. Oh god, I just realized I have an absolutely massive navy that I somehow took over. Whoops. We should probably reorganize all of this. You know something I've always found a little bit irritating, by the way? Paradox, on the off chance you're watching this, which I know you are not, but if you were. Why can't you just go ahead and increase this menu a little bit so it actually shows a double-digit number? Why can't you just do that? I don't even know that it's like 30-something percent. I, I see the three dot dot dot, but why not just go ahead? You, you basically have the space for it already. Why not just go ahead and actually have the second number here? Huh? Why is it the way that it is? Explain. By the way, Big Buddy US, what are you doing right now? Oh good, you are sending a bunch of troops up to the borders of Canada. Excellent, okay. The Canadians right now are shaking in their boots. The snow under their feet is suspiciously turning into lemonade. Ew. Now that I think about that, I kind of regret that a little bit. Sorry, Inyali, it's, uh, it's really fun to edit for me, isn't it? Yeah, it is. I'm actually gonna go through the map real quick and look for some areas where we want to get some more supply. We only have a little bit more time to work on this, but for example, I see the Americans over here are all very low organization. And that's because there's not actually any sort of a railroad connection over here, so supplies are a little bit more limited. We can go ahead and fix that preemptively. These are the kinds of little things that we probably should always be doing and thinking about ahead of time. I historically am not very good at it, but we should. It's almost time. There it is. You should have surrendered the South American states to the proper United States of South America. Did you think I was gonna stand for this border gore? Absolutely not. Look, all I'm saying is I feel completely justified in what I'm about to do, all right? I do feel completely justified. Hi, buddy! Time to die! Come on, UK, call them in, please! There we go! Ugh, that's just the Netherlands! Come on! Surely there are more people who want to fight me! Come on! Why, by the way, is France going communist? What is happening? Look, I'm just getting a little annoyed here, alright? I'm sitting back and the Allies are doing nothing. They're calling in their puppets! They're not calling in their buddies! What's going on? Whatever, US, go murder Canada. You've always wanted to do this, I know you have. Like, what do I have to, okay, you know what? Screw it, we already cheated once, right? Uh, I assume their tag is like England or something. Let's do that, let's just see real quick. What's the issue? Are you not able to call them in? France, call to arms. They won't join. Because they like all of my people. Hold on. No wonder the UK can't call anyone in. All right, there's gotta be a way to fix this. Hold on. The answer, now that I think about it, is obvious. Allow Diplo once again. Screw it. France, we're at war now. Germany, we're at war now. Th is this stupid in that I have to like actually go through here and individually select all these people to attack? Absolutely, it's stupid. But I don't care, I'm gonna do it. There, am I now at war with everyone that matters? I'm pretty sure we basically are. Okay, I'm at war with all of these people. That looks like the allies to me. Let the war commence! Oh wait, but I actually have to call all my people. Oh God. Call everyone in, please. Thank you. Yes, yes, I have a lot of puppets. I get it, I get it. That's a lot of puppets. Yes, I know, I know. Get on with it, thank you. Yes, yes. There we go! That's the green front line I wanted to see! All right. We're gonna start by smashing Poland and Germany and then pushing west. Poland, of course, stands no chance whatsoever, so I'm going to tell my people to go on the aggressive. Why are they not going on the aggressive? Hello? Whatever, folks, just get into Warsaw and stuff. I hear it's lovely this time of year. Fun fact, actually, I'm gonna be in Warsaw in a little bit less than a month for a secret project. Can't tell you what yet, but it'll be fun. Let's go ahead and start pushing into Southern France. What are they gonna do? Absolutely nothing. Why is Poland not dead yet? This should be extremely fast. Are you telling me the Germans are better at war than me? Ridiculous. Honestly, the biggest issue is mostly that the game is running slow. It feels like it's taking forever because I'm not blazing by at speed five like I usually do. Ticking by, a little bit by a little bit. There we go, all right. So that takes care of them. Now we can reorganize the front and keep pushing. And what is more appropriate than sending tanks to push through the Benelux region? The uh, allies are definitely putting up a bit of a fight though, to be fair. They're doing their absolute darndest, but I think that once the Germans and the French go down, 
That will make my life significantly easier. The UK may be strong right now, but they aren't that strong. We're just now starting to get our troops in position to actually fight over South America, by the way. You know, like our actual war goal. No big deal. The French, unsurprisingly, cannot stand on their southern border. Of course, the attrition's terrible, but yeah, you know, whatever, we'll get through it. Marseille is falling. We have successfully cut off all these people up around Hamburg. Let's go ahead and clear up the rest of the Danish area. Okay, we're about to take Wilhelmshaven. We are now pushing into the Netherlands. I'm sorry, my fellow Dutch, it must happen. And we're getting naval invaded in a lot of locations. Uh-huh, Middle East, Philippines, Italy's getting naval invaded, of course they are. UK, I already saw you try that maneuver many a time. It didn't go well for you. Just need to get into Breda. That should take care of the Netherlands. Thank you. Then we just clear out the rest of the British forces, which shouldn't be too hard. There's a lot of planes flying around over here. I can't imagine we're winning much of the air battle. Okay, most of Europe's taken care of. The UK is being a little bit defensive, but yeah, fair enough. And remember, I've still got my ace in the hole at the end of the day. I'm still sitting on a couple of nukes, at least two. In the past, that's been uh, good enough to win a few wars, so you know, we'll see what happens. There goes Belgium, thank you. Sorry, Bitter Steel. Oh, and we completely pushed through the southern lines here in France, and even noticed that. Forget going through the Benelux to reach Paris, all right? We're just gonna do it the old fashioned way, <laughs> going straight through this region down here in Savoy. Yeah, why not? Well, let's just go ahead and collapse on what's left here around like Luxembourg and stuff. Just go ahead and finish them off. Why is Germany not dead yet? I feel like they should be. Iran just capitulated. Good job, Americans. You've always been looking forward to that one. I also feel like France should have capitulated by now. Usually they do by the time that Paris goes down, like most of the country is gone. France, how are you actually holding on this time? Is it because you're mostly communists? Did you grow a backbone? Well, I'll just go ahead and get into Dunkirk and Calais and we'll see how you feel then, huh? Frickin' heck, they won't die. What's the heck? I, I don't I don't know how to feel about this. A France that doesn't surrender, even against hopeless odds. I really don't know what to think. Germany's down, Croatia is down. Excellent. Clear out the rest of these fools. Oh, look at all of you with no supply whatsoever. Beautiful. I'd say that I feel bad for you, but that would be a lie. There we go! Bye, France! Jesus, these guys. Okay. All right, so this takes care of most of Europe. There's a little bit of a holdout we need to deal with. I've got to go clean up Norway, Turkey, etc. The question is, do we go after the UK now, or do we hold off and look for other areas? How are we looking everywhere else? Obviously, the Southeast Asia theater is still a problem. We have not cleaned up everything over here, and the US hasn't finished off Canada. Look, I know that Canada gets annoying and that they have a couple of different, like, victory points you really have to travel for and stuff like that, up in, like, Alberta, wherever else, but you haven't even taken down Montreal! What are you doing, U.S.? You're supposed to be the big boy! Do you mean to go show you how it's done? Because I can do it! Ugh, another time, perhaps. All right, Free France still is trying to hold out in a few little holdings here and there. Why they're allowed to do this again and take things like, you know, Southeast Asia, I don't know. They should just be forced to capitulate all of it, in my opinion. Plan on a grand naval invasion across the channel from Denmark to Norway. See if we can get these guys out of the picture, just so I don't have to worry about them. Also, give me a new invasion point with which to land in the UK, who is going to be a bit of a challenge, because their navy is still strong. But I have the American navy on my side, which should make my life a lot easier. Plus, I never actually consulted my new consul- Oh my gosh, I've got a huge navy. Oh, this is glorious. Not to mention 124 submarines. <laughs> okay, we can deal with this. This is fine. Let's go clean up Greece and Turkey. I'm kind of annoyed that they are being a thorn in the side of Armenia and everyone else. They got a lot of mountains around Macedon that are causing some issues, but the Americans are doing a generally good job, right? They're clearing out Iran, no problem. They're getting through here in southern Turkey and Syria and blah, blah, blah. How does Turkey own this area down here? How do they own Sinai? Uh, I don't know how Turkey pulled that one off, but we'll get them. I'll tell you what, it is nice having the Americans on my side in a war for once, especially in the late game. These guys are pulling their weight for the most part. They're taking on a bunch of theaters that I don't want to have to worry about. Except for Canada. They're doing a pretty bad job in Canada. Also, Mexico sucks too. They can barely even handle these guys. What are y'all doing? Get in here and finish them off. They don't even have any proper supply. We can deal with this. Oh, freaking heck. Gibraltar is actually preventing me from going anywhere and doing anything good. All right, I gotta figure out how we're gonna do a naval invasion of freaking Gibraltar now. <laughs> Fine, we'll launch from Marseille. This should work. What did I just see here? Ah! Someone just did a nuke on Malta! 
Wait, why? Why did he... Why, why did you nuke Malta? First off, I'm not the first one to get to use nuke. Secondly, Malta? Dang, America, you are cold. I don't know why you did that. All right, we finally got enough naval dominance to go land here in Gibraltar, which means they no longer control this stupid strait, which means my navies actually have freedom of movement again. I always forget how important it is to actually control Gibraltar. Oh, and we are landing up in Norway. Perfect. Let's go ahead and finish these guys off. And Greece still has not capitulated because they control Crete. Oh, you guys really are annoying, aren't you? It's fine. We'll just go ahead and redirect a few forces to go and help take down Turkey. Eh? That'll be fine, too. Take down North Africa. And once Norway's fallen, we'll turn our attention to landing over here, probably around Hull. This seems to be usually the best place to hit. Newcastle to Hull. So you're kind of only best option, I think. Go from, let's say, Bergen all the way through here. Boom. Or also land from Denmark. Control these three uh, seas tiles. Way easier than trying to control the English Channel. That said, the UK only has four ships in the English Channel. Maybe we should just do a naval invasion across here real quick. I don't normally advise sending tanks and stuff over here to do uh, naval invasions. They generally kind of suck at that job. But I mean, like... If they're gonna leave this undefended, mostly undefended, then I say just go ahead and send the fast boys. We can take them. There we go. All right, let's see if we can actually make this uh, landing or if they've got a lot of defenders. Sometimes they do, but they don't have the US to save them this time, so I'm not really worried about it. Oh yeah, they got nothing. They have no one defending the UK. Well, they have some. Okay, there's a tiny bit of defenders. It ain't much though. Well, in that case, I'll just go ahead and march straight through London and grab all the ports. Yep, London has fallen. UK, what were you thinking? I know you're trying to fight me on all the other fronts and stuff, but like, this was suicide. You should have defended your homeland a little bit. You didn't even have the ships in place. It's almost like they want to be controlled by the better democracy. Well, in that case, um, hi. Uh, tanks, motorized, mechanized, everyone else, go wild, have fun. Just steamroll England right now. Just gotta get into Liverpool and stuff. Should be fine. My great-grandmother was from Liverpool. She actually was very proud of telling people that she lived there before the Beatles made it famous. It was somewhat lost on me when she said that when I was a kid because uh, I didn't know who the Beatles were because that is a little outside of my time. I know now. All right, don't, don't, don't at me, bro. I know who the Beatles are, I get it. But like, at the time, no. And that was the end of the war. Ow! And here I was thinking I'd have to go and fight over like India and everything. Democracy wins again! All right, this is where I get to have some fun, yes? I get to take a bunch of puppets, yes. Let's go ahead and submit all those demands. Of course, the US has quite a few demands they can pass themselves. You don't get the islands. This is mine, America. You stay in the north, I get the south and central. That's how this works. Wait, did they just demand all of Turkey? I think they did, they took all of Turkey. Oh, the US went for the world's chromium supply. Brilliant. Good thing we're not gonna be fighting anytime soon because they'll have all the modern tanks. Fine, you go ahead and do that. I'm gonna start carving out chunks of India and then go for the Dutch East Indies. I will control the world's rubber and you can control the world's chromium. This is how we maintain the balance of power. Okay, I think we've done most things. Oh, come on, what is this border gore nonsense that you are doing here, US? This is disgusting! All right, I'm pretty sure that's it. We can't make any more demands beyond this. It is what it is. Confirm and exit. The US is gonna take a ton of puppets and satellites some states out of mine. Do what you wanna do. Let's see how this works out. At the end of the day, we still all win together, right? So I took 25 states for myself, which is fine. They took only six, and then we handed off a lot of territory and then puppeted a ton of people. I really don't know why you did this, US. Why did you even want to take this for yourself? This doesn't make any sense, you weirdos. Ugh, God, it's absolutely disgusting. I almost feel like I need to go kill the US just to make me feel better about it. <sighs> Tell you what, instead, I'm gonna take my frustration out and kill China. Poor China's gonna be all like, wait, what? Hey, what did we do? The answer is I'm frustrated and I need to take it out on someone, all right? You just happen to be the only non-democratic faction left. Of course, if we're gonna be fighting over Asia, you better believe supply is about to be a major issue. Let's go ahead and build up some supply hubs and stuff over here preemptively. Because we know we're gonna need it. And now we just have to sit back and wait for the mass redeployment of the world's armies to go and fight a land war in Asia. This is gonna go fine. Well, there's my justification. Do I wait until some more of these are built? 
Oh, <sighs> probably, yeah. I mean, like, four of them are gonna be done in June, and my Wargle doesn't expire until July. This just... I'm not gonna be able to push until they're done anyway. Why take the attrition? China is now declaring on war on members of its own faction. <laughs> China left the Chinese United Front, and they declared a one-China policy, and now they're attacking everyone. Oh, this is hilarious. You know the problem? Um... I no longer am gonna have war goals on these guys because they're not all a part of the same freaking faction! For frick's sake, we're just gonna have to cheat that in too, screw it. Look, I don't- I'm not comfortable with how much I'm having to do this either, okay? But this is how you have fun with democracy. You just- You just cheat the votes a little bit, it's fine. This is all a bonus round anyway, this is alternate universe stuff, none of this is actually happening, this is all a dream. Well, screw it. Let's just go ahead and declare our war now. Call all my allies, go. I expect to take a lot of losses in this and I don't really care. We're just gonna breeze right through. This is more for just completionist sake, okay? I don't expect you guys to care about this. The real problem is gonna be, of course, like some of these straights. I got solutions for that though. Boom! That'll do the job. <laughs> oh, you're still holding on. Let's do it again. We're gonna go for another big boom. I love the nukage. Anyway, if I just sit back and let this do its thing, if I just go get some more coffee, is it gonna be fine? Probably, let's find out. I even got myself a nice little pistachio cookie that I imported from Italy. All right, what's the damage? <laughs> the front lines barely moved at all. Oh, Asia, never change. Oh, I'm getting bored. Time to go ahead and lay out some more nukes on the front line. Happy birthday, blow out your candle. If I really wanted to speed things up, I suppose what I could do is a bunch of naval invasions. That actually wouldn't be a bad plan. Yeah, let's do that. Oh, frick me, the Americans are already on it. Ow! Well, in that case, screw the naval invasion, just get in there. Unironically, that was actually a good play by them. Good ally move, I like it. I am admittedly losing a lot of manpower in this war. This is probably one of the bloodiest war I've been in so far. Many hundreds of thousands dead already, and we're, uh, got a long way to go. This is why you don't fight in Asia. If I'm honest, a big part of the problem I'm having right now is just the sheer number of allies who are sucking up all of my precious supply right now. I think I'd literally be doing better if I just told them all to stay out of here and let me go fight on my own. But we're not gonna do that, I'm a team player. Even while we're killing them, China's actively making claims against like all of Southeast Asia and stuff. <laughs> you know what, it's a good thing we're taking them down, all right? This was for democracy in the end. It wasn't me just being a warmonger. I can see the future. I knew China was gonna be a problem. This is a preemptive strike. And there goes China. All right. We got more war score than I expected, but uh, yeah, this was great. Good job. United States will take some stuff, but I think they've earned it. And as always, when this push is slow, when in doubt, nuke them. Who even has to worry about land wars in Asia when you can just nuke the forests? Oh, it's awful. They're done. As usual, the AI are idiots, and they just left behind some little cancerous independent nations, but whatever. It's fine. And thus I have proven the superiority of my managed democracy. Dear God, the color of this even matches Helldivers 2. What do you know? All right, I hope you guys enjoyed that bonus round of Hearts of Iron 4. That took uh, two and a half hours to do that. That wasn't especially fun, but we did it. And now I can sleep easy. Thank you all very much for watching. Hope you enjoyed. If so, I would ask you to hit that like button, leave a comment, subscribe, make sure that notify bell, and I will see you guys next time. <laughs>